ओके लेट स्टार्ट वन इन अदर टॉपिक ऑफ द कोर्स न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस एंड कंपोटेशन एंड इन दिस मेथड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर पावर मेथड टू फाइंड डोमिनेंट आइगन वैल्यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लर्न व्हाट आर आइगन वेक्टर्स एंड आइगन वैल्यूज फॉर सम स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ए ऑफ डायमेंशन n क्रॉस n आइगन वैल्यूज एंड आइगन वेक्टर मेक दिस इक्वेशन ट्रू which means eigen vector is a special kind of vector of a matrix a that if we apply matrix a on that vector we will get that vector again with some scaling factor lambda so this special vector is going to be eigen vector and the scaling factor is known to be eigen value this is the graphical demonstration of this thing Okay, let's take an example. For example, this square matrix of dimension two cross two has some eigen vectors v1 and v2. v1 is its eigen vector and v2 is its eigen vector also with eigen values lambda one minus two and lambda two three. So why these v1 and v2 are eigen vector of this matrix A? you can clearly see if i multiply the a matrix with the first eigen vector i will recover that eigen vector again with some scaling factor and it is in this case is negative so this scaling factor is the eigen value and v1 is surely the eigen vector because i am recovering it after multiplying it with a and for the second one the eigen vector 1 1 is the eigen vector because if i apply the matrix a on it i will recover this vector again with some scaling factor and this scaling factor is 3 this time so 3 is the eigen value of this corresponding eigen vector now our concern is to learn an algorithm which will directly target the dominant eigen value of some matrix a dominant eigen value will be the largest eigen value of some matrix in absolute sense For example, a three cross three matrix. If a three cross three matrix has three eigen values, then the largest one of them, in absolute sense, is going to be dominant eigen value. So we are going to use the power method to find the dominant eigen value. These are the steps of power method. We will learn these steps when we will do a practice question. And keep in mind about normalized initial guess because to start the power method, we have to start with some initial guess vector and that should be a normalized guess these are the possibilities of normalized guesses for a 3 cross 3 matrix so there should be at least uh, one entry which should have one all the other entries can be zero or we can have all one entries so at least there should be one entry which is one and remaining should be zero so this is what normalized initial guess is okay let's do a question to find the dominant eigen value of this matrix uh, a 1 2 2 1 we already uh, did know what are the uh, what are the eigen values and eigen vector of this matrix but we are concerned with the dominant eigen vector and the eigen corresponding eigen value in this case so we are going to start with normalized initial guess and power method is very simple in this method you first you multiply the given matrix with the initial guess normalized initial guess and you will get some vector then take the largest entry or in absolute sense common from this vector and this is going to be the vector of next iteration so in next iteration you will multiply the a matrix with this vector and then again take the largest entry in absolute sense common and then the vector you are left with is going to be the ingredient of your next iteration you will again multiply the a matrix again repeat the process take the largest entry in absolute sense common and this vector is going to be the vector of next iteration so Uh, you will repeat this process again and again until you will see that the vectors are repeating in two consecutive iteration 
and then you will stop. So this one one is going to be your dominant eigen vector, where three is going to be the corresponding dominant eigen value. So this is what is power method. Now let's develop the MATLAB code of this power method to find dominant eigen value of any square matrix. So I have opened the MATLAB and I'm making a new script file. So in MATLAB code, first of all, I have introduced my basic ingredients, uh, which I will utilize in power math. So basic ingredients are like the matrix A of which I'm interested to find the dominant eigenvector and the corresponding eigenvalue and V is going to be the normalized initial gas vector. So these two are the basic ingredients as you can see from here too. So my first step is going to uh, multiply this A matrix with the initial gas vector and take the largest entry in absolute sense common and then do this process again and again. So I'm going to use a loop for this thing. I should also know the number of iterations uh, since I am going to perform uh, this power method using for loop. So next I will introduce the loop. Okay, inside the loop what I will do first, I will update my V vector uh, with A steric V. So this will do like the first step. Uh, which is I am multiplying the A vector with the normalized initial gas and I am getting the new vector and I am storing this in V again. After that, my concern is to take the maximum entry in absolute sense common from this vector. For this, I should know what is going to be the maximum entry of this V now. So the maximum entry of V I am going to store in capital M. So in capital M, I am taking the maximum entry in absolute sense of this new V. Now, how we will take the common? The common is like uh, dividing each entry of the matrix with that maximum entry. Like divide each entry of the vector V with that maximum entry. This is how you will take the common. Okay, there is no restriction of taking the maximum entry in absolute sense common. You can also take the maximum entry common and power method will converge in this case. What I'm saying is if your vector will going to be like this and your this algorithm will take the minus two common from it since it is not taking the maximum entry in absolute sense common. So power method will converge in this case too. So there is no need to worry. So after doing this, the next step is to update this V vector with dividing all the entries of this V with the maximum entry. This is how we take the common. And that's it. This is the code of power method. And in the next iteration, your that latest V will work as the ingredient of next iteration and it will multiply with this A and then that A will also be up, that product will be updated in V. And this is how uh, we will get our answer by doing the same process again and again. So let's test run this code and I'm going to input that uh, vector a 1 2 2 1 so I have inputted the vector uh, matrix original matrix a 1 2 2 1 of which uh, I am going to find I am interested to find the dominant eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector uh, 1 0 is my initial guess and I am going to perform 10 iterations so you can see after 10 iterations I am getting some answer so in the first iteration, uh, my vector after multiplication is going to be 1, 2. This is 1, 2 here. And after taking the common, it should be 0 0.5 and 1. So it is 0 0.5 and 1, which is the ingredient of next iteration. So after multiplying it with 
uh, a in the next iteration i am going to get 2.52 which is like here and after taking the 2.5 common which is the maximum entry i am getting 10.8 so after doing this process again and again in the 10th iteration i am close to 3 so my dominant uh, eigenvalue is 3 and eigenvector is 1 1 I can perform more iterations uh, to see exact three value which is going to be the eigenvalue. So let's modify our code to see these results in a more nicer way. So now in my code I have used the fprintf commands. Uh, first I semicolon all the uh, outputs that I was seeing on the command window. Whenever I enter the loop, I am uh, using the fprintf command to uh, show the user that which iteration number is this. And after that, when I am getting the uh, results of that iteration, so I am showing the user that current eigenvalue, what is current maximum value of that vector and what is that vector actually. So the current eigenvalue and current eigenvector, I am showing this user so let's run this code now so after running this code uh, I am seeing uh, the outputs in more nicer way so this is going to be iteration number one and in the iteration number one current eigenvalue is 2 and current eigenvector is this V and moving on to the iteration number 15 the current eigenvalue is 3 and the current eigenvector is 1 which is uh, my dominant eigenvector and dominant eigenvalue actually. Now I am going to modify this code uh, with some stopping criteria that if I find my uh, I dominant eigenvalue and eigenvector the code should not do the further iterations and the loop should break in that case. For that I have to store, I should have the previous value of vector and the latest value of my eigenvector. So I should have two variables. In, in one variable I should have the previous eigenvector uh, and the other uh, variable I should have the latest eigenvector. For this purpose I have to take the tolerance as an input from user. Uh, tolerance is for stopping criteria like for how many dps uh, if my answer will be equal then i should stop so for four dps the tolerance is going to be 10 raised to the power minus four we have talked about this in our previous videos like uh, you can see the video of bisection method for this so 10 raised to the power minus four or 0 0.0001 this uh, is the tolerance if i want to see my answer equal up to four decimal places so i have to take this uh, tolerance as an input from user and then i need another variable in which i will store my previous values of x so my original input i am storing that input in this v naught so what i do is my v naught is like treating as a uh, vector which contains the latest previous value like consecutive previous value you can say so i am multiplying this a with v naught uh, and I'm doing uh, that um, process of power method again. So I have just replaced this V with V naught now. And after, at the end of this loop, I am updating the latest V answer in V naught. So in the next iteration, this uh, V naught will be treated as a previous value and then V is going to be my uh, v is going to be my vector which contains the latest value. Before updating this V0 with V, I am using the stopping criteria here. So my V will contain the latest value and V0 will contain the consecutive previous value and then absolute of this V minus V0. If this is less than tolerance, then my code should break no matter how many iterations I have given to it. So let's test run this code now. So 
so i am giving that same matrix again with same initial guess and i am giving 30 iterations with this tolerance so you can see after 10 iterations i have found my eigen value correct up to four decimal uh, places my eigen vector so my code breaked and this code is general which will work for uh, any type of square matrix like i am giving this matrix as input now which have a negative dominant eigen value so let's see if my code work for this case and i am giving the 30 iterations again and i am giving the tolerance as 10 raised to the power minus 4 and you can see the my code found the dominant eigenvalue and the eigenvector in six iterations uh, this is it this is all about uh, the power method to find the dominant eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector See you people in next video.